Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my April 2017 budget. I do apologize, this has taken a really long time for me to get up. However, it's finally happening. So, um, at the beginning of the month, everything looks clean obviously, um, and at the beginning of the month I always have like a little sticky note here if I have anything like extra or kind of special that month that I know that's not like a normal, like quote unquote normal expense for me. So I'm going to take that off and then I do my month view over here of my actual budget. And then with these stickers, um, these are from Coffee Break Planner. They are in the Emily's Budget Bundle. I will leave a link below, um, as well as a sneaky little coupon code for you guys. Um, and then I categorize this as well um, once the month goes on. So let's get into April because as some of you know that I've been watching, that you know obviously watch my other videos, not just my budgeting videos. I've been pretty sick lately and not feeling the the, the best, <laughs> um, the greatest or the best. I tried to say both at the same time. That didn't work out. Um, but yeah, so I just haven't been feeling really good. And um, that's why I haven't had the video up for you guys because it's just been so tired. We are just going to make it happen. You know what I mean, guys? So um, I chose to use this Erin Condren sticker sheet. I will be leaving the Erin Condren links down below for you guys. Um, it's so weird because I do have like an overhead tripod now that I like say down below like it's down but it's actually this way for you guys but I'm pointing at myself. It's very strange. But I'm going to be using this Erin Condren sticker sheet. This is a monthly deluxe planner from Erin Condren, the coiled version. This is what my front cover looks like. It's just my budget for 2016. I get a ton of questions about this particular planner um, so I will leave a link down below for you guys. Um, if you click on the Erin Condren link and it's your first time ordering, you will get a $10 off coupon code emailed to you that'll typically happen the first day that you sign up. Um, they'll send you a couple of different emails, but make sure to look out for that $10 off email. Um, once you get it, you can use it on anything that you want on the Erin Condren website. I believe that these planners are roughly about $30, I want to say. And then obviously with the $10 discount, it's 10 or it's $20. You can also just buy like sticker sheets. Um, I believe the sticker sheet was like $3 or so. Um, but yeah, you can use it on anything that you want to. And then you use your code for for $10 off after signing up through my link. And then in turn, I actually get a $10 off coupon code towards my next purchase, which is kind of cool, which is how I can show you guys like hauls and some of the new products that are coming up soon and all that. Um, and I do get a lot of questions on these tabs. Actually, Erin Condren just came out with tabs. I actually just purchased them. Um, so I'll be reviewing those very soon. But I got my tabs from Michaels, just the, the Recollections brand. And then I just hand wrote them. Um, I know some people have gotten, you know, some of theirs at other places and stuff too. But, but that is where those are from. And then and I'm just gonna use this little header man up here. And then um, if you guys are interested as well, I get lots of questions about a lot of things, so I like to um, be upfront before I actually start this because, you know, the comments get a little full, you guys. And that's okay, I like the comments. The comments are fun. Especially when people get this video suggested to them and they don't necessarily know me or, you know, have seen my content before. Um, the pen that I use is in the description down below. These are like little bookmarks. This is also going to be on the Erin Condren website. This is on the Erin Condren website too. Pretty much everything I'm using is on the Erin Condren website, okay? So we're good there. Um, just to let you guys know, I am a single individual. Um, I'm, my name is Emily, I am 36. Um, I am currently living in my parents' summer home um, as to save up for a big, nice down payment on a house. I am currently looking for a home. I have more than my 20% down. However, I haven't really found anything lately. Um, I've only actually looked physically at two houses since my search starting at the very beginning of January. So um, it's been kind of an interesting process. However, we do have four seasons here in Minnesota and I feel like in the spring, like there's a lot more on the market now. I'm actually waiting a for a call from my realtor anyways. So that being said, um, I really hope to start looking 
at some more kind of serious <laughs> finds out there. But again, you know, I'm not rushing it. Um, my parents are so kindly letting me stay here uh, for free, which is great. And um, you will see that reflected in the budget. I get a lot of comments and questions about that. Um, so yeah, and as soon as I purchase a home, then my budget is gonna look very different. I also use real life numbers. Um, this is my real life. This is exactly how much I get paid, exactly how much I spend on certain things. Um, you know, we all have different things that we choose to spend our money on or choose not to spend our money on. And um, I'm not gonna you know, ever judge anyone for spending certain amounts of money especially if they have it. Just be kind in the comments to other people. I don't care if you're mean to me. Well, I guess I kind of care a little bit, but you know what, I'll get over it. But that being said, um, some people like to comment on, you know, some of their things that they have struggles with or whatever. And um, I think the last like budgeting video, there was an altercation I had to delete, but whatever. I mean, you guys do you. Let's just all be kind to each other, okay? All right, that sounds like fun. All right. I think I'm gonna use one of these little circles. Be kind of cute. Budget. Because, you know, budget. April budget. Wee! Okay, so that's done. This I might use a little bit. Well, you guys can't even see it. Oh, this I might use a little bit later. Um, there are four paydays in April, I believe. I get paid every single Friday. But let me just double check that. Yeah, there are four. So. Let's get it written down. I always clip to this. Actually, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, I never put in when I'm writing because I never talk when I'm writing because then if I do, I end up misspelling something or doing something I'm not supposed to do, but whatever. Um, so like I said, I get paid every single Friday. Um, if I work 40 hours, this is where I am at with all of my taxes and insurance and all those things taken out. If I work over my 40, obviously I'll get a little bit more. If for some reason I need to take the day off or I'm short on hours because I had to leave early or come in late or something like that, obviously that would be reflected. But I'm just gonna average out at 40 because that's kind of like where I average out. So that is all of my incoming for this month. Um, as some of you know that have been watching me for a little while, um, I do earn YouTube income. I do not put this in my budget just because I actually run everything through my small business and I choose to keep that private as of right now. I may end up publicizing it at some point. I don't really know how kind of comfortable I feel about all of that. But, um, you know, I'll do what feels good, um, you know, like later on down the road. But I'll definitely, you know, kind of keep you guys posted as to, you know, what my comfort level is and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't put that in here mainly because, first of all, I don't know how much I'm gonna get because you never know with the YouTube. You just really never know, you guys. And the other thing is, I really use my YouTube income and I don't actually pull a salary on my YouTube income like ever, um, because I reinvest it into my channel. So um, recently I purchased a new tripod, like the little tripod that's right there. Um, I purchased that, I'll purchase um, planning supplies, like things from Erin Condren, um, things that I need for my videos, like pens, and you know, just like things that I'm showing and whatever. So I actually don't even put that into my normal budget any longer, all of my planning stuff, just because it's running through the business now. Um, and I did talk to my tax professional before people go off in the comments, I did talk to my tax professional about it, and she said, as long as you show it in a video, and it's for video, purposes, um, you can put it through your business. The percentage of write-off, we'll figure that out later, but that is okay. And um, I'm really excited about that. So I think that's gonna be a really, really nice thing. Um, let's put in some of these. I'm using a couple of different um, Erin Condren sticker books. These are the two I'm gonna be using today. So out of this one, I'm going to use um, the one that actually was for April. Um, I've been using this sticker book for quite a while, so anyway. I just like to kind of separate it. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I want to write in something pretty to keep myself on track with a planner. Um, if you goes, if you goes, um, if you guys don't like to, you know, decorative plan your 
budgets, that's totally okay. Um, but yeah, that's just what keeps me motivated. And that's really what I focus on on my channel is just, you know, what I am into. And, you know, a lot of you seem to really uh, understand it and really end up liking these videos. So I do appreciate all of you guys uh, supporting my channel and subscribing and liking and like all of that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, okay, this is not doing this. Um, I usually end up like re-sticking the little tails down on here because um, you can use them for later, you know what I mean? And like, why waste it? But this one's just like not wanting to um, stay down for me. Come on, stay down. You know, like scrape it with the nail or something. I think that will, <laughs> that will work. All right, so um, let's put these off to the side and then let's go with, um, the top is always what's coming in and then the bottom is always what is going out. So let's do that. So I'll do my set expenses and then I'll do kind of my like more miscellaneous things. Um, and then I'll do like my cash envelopes and you know, savings essentially. My savings is always going towards my house fund uh, because I don't save for anything else right now. So let me write that in and then I will be back in just a second. Okay, so here are all of my expenses. I'm estimating a couple of these, so I'll just run through the categories really quickly. Netflix is, is a set expense at $10.68. My cell phone is a set expense at $101.55. My Wi-Fi is a set expense at $45.29. My insurance, which includes my autos and my renter. Um, I do hold a renter's policy here, um, and the reason why is because my possessions would be covered if something were to happen to this home. If something happens to this home and my parents' possessions are covered and mine are not, I would be up a creek, so to say. So um, I only pay about, I don't know, like less than 10 bucks a month or something for it. So I feel like it's definitely well worth it to um, protect all of my stuff, especially all of my um, YouTube filming equipment and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, uh, gas for my vehicle is usually an estimate of about $200 a month. My personal slash household expenses, which means like makeup, shampoo, um, toilet paper, dish soap, things like that that aren't food are $100, and I'm just estimating. Um, my giving for this month is gonna be around $200. Um, I need to go buy dog food for my dog. I get him like the biggest bag possible, and um, he's on like a special limited ingredient um, formula dog food. So it is a little bit more expensive, but again, I get him the biggest thing possible, and I usually end up only having to buy this big bag like once a quarter, if that. So it's around 80 to $90. I just put in $90 just to be safe. And then um, I did have a ton of medical stuff happening recently, especially like if you guys have been watching this long, um, when I was talking about being tired all the time. I have gone to the doctor a couple of times and we've done some testing and things like that. I haven't received all of my medical bills yet, but um, I do have insurance, but unfortunately my insurance isn't the greatest. So I have to reach a specific threshold throughout the year and it's kind of the beginning of the year. So I'm going to estimate around $400 for this month. Um, if for any reason it's above $400, I'm sure that I could chat with the, um, you know, billing department and see if I can pay the rest of it in another month. Um, you know, most uh, medical places are happy to take your money, um, but I will chat with them. If it's something that I absolutely have to pay and there's just no way around it and I'm gonna get charged interest or something, I'll just end up paying it if it's 400, if it's over $400. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how much it is. But let me get this totaled up and then we'll move on to the rest of the categories. All right, so my total for this section is $1,251 69 cents. Um, if for some reason I end up getting my medical bills and it's only like a hundred bucks or less than that or whatever, um, all of that excess will end up being at the bottom of my page, which will go right towards the house savings, which I will show you in just a moment. So as for the next category, I am going to be using the same, um, sticker a book here from Erin Condren under the April tab and I'm going to use this one. I just thought these were really cute and pretty so why not? Again, I gotta have it cute you guys. I can't have a non-cute budget, you know what I mean? 
Um, and actually, today I got like three questions on three different budget videos asking if I use every dollar. Um, as you guys know, I am a big fan of Dave Ramsey. If you watch my Financial Fridays, you would know this about me. Um, but no, I don't use it. And I will tell you why I don't use it. Um, I love pen to paper. Um, I'm old school like that. It's just what works for me. Um, but I can see the value in it. Um, I'm just not big on to the app. I did download it actually, you guys. Like I did actually download it and I just wasn't into it. And I, I know why I wasn't into it. It's because I am not married. I don't have a partner. Um, I don't share like share income with anybody. So I guess if I shared bank accounts with somebody to be like more of an accountability um, person or your spouse, I mean, Dave says do it with your spouse. I mean, whatever. So anyway, um, I would love it if I had a mate I was sharing finances with, but because it's just me, I don't really see the need for it because I like to do stuff on paper. So um, that's that's my thing. That's, that's why I don't like it for me personally, but you know, to each their own and that is okay. All right, so as for my cash envelopes, um, I'm only gonna do grocery and dining. It's kind of funny, my um, cash envelopes are a little bit sad now because I only have two different categories for my cash envelopes right now. Um, so since there's only four weeks in the month, um, I usually budget out to about $50 a week. Um, it's just me and a dog, no one else is here. And then for my dining budget, um, I am planning on possibly going out to like a lunch or dinner with somebody fun. Um, it's not a date, you guys, don't worry. Um, I want to budget a little bit higher for that because we're going to go to like a nice Italian restaurant, I think. I think I want to budget like 150 for the month. Um, this is going to cover everything though, you guys. Like it's not, I'm not spending $150 on one meal, don't worry. So yeah, but um, let me put in another little, little flag here and then we'll get that going. So I've got a total of $350 there. All right, so got my little flag in for the total of $350, which is awesome. And then again, I'm gonna use um, this guy here, but I think I'm gonna go to a different page and use a different one. Um, maybe I'll use, it's kind of like butterfly. I don't, I don't know when I would ever use these butterflies ever again. So let's just, let's just go with it, you guys. Um, this one is from the May one. Um, you can't really see it because I already took these off because I've, like I said, I've been using this. Move this category here over to here. Dun, dun, dun. I hope you all are having a wonderful spring so far. It has been unseasonably warm, like crazy warm in Minnesota. I feel like, knock on wood, I'm not actually gonna knock on it because it's gonna wake the dog up. I feel like we have had such a mild winter and I'm just kind of like waiting for the other shoe to drop, honestly, you guys, because it's kind of crazy how hot it's been. It's been in the 50s for, I don't know, a good week, week and a half. And it's been like kind of going back and forth in the 50s, I guess. So some days it'll be in the 40s, some days it'll be like in the 60s. It's just kind of insanity. I'll take it. It's nice outside. And I hope that that means that we're not gonna have a icky hot summer. So you never know. Um, okay, so down at the bottom, I'm just gonna put in the total incoming and the total outgoing, and then like how much I'm gonna do for like my house savings. So let's get that totaled up. Okay, so there's my incoming and my outgoing. Um, so I am going to use from this book, this sticker book, um, it's like the one with the little light teal cover. I'm gonna use from the January page this little flag here because I think it's cute, so why not? All right, so let's write house fund. Alrighty, wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought for sure that I wasn't gonna be able to save a thousand dollars this month just because of the medical, but again, I will, you know, get that hammered out <laughs> when I need to. So I'll put that right there. And then over to the side, since I already had this open, I think this is a really pretty one and I'm gonna use this right over to the side here because why not? Again, 
Let's make it pretty, guys. Let's make it pretty. Yeah, that's so cute. It's very spring, very springy. I like that. And then um, also, um, this isn't necessarily like in the kit, but I do have some big piggies, um, like little, I like how I say big and then I say little, um, but they are, this is like a standalone sheet from Coffee Break Planner, which I love, and I love this big pink pig, and it just reminds me to save, like, oink, oink, time to save. So that's exciting. Um, but again, I will leave the link below to Coffee Break Planner where I end up using those. And then um, over to the side, I wanna do like a little like inspirational thing. All right, I think I'm gonna use actually this one from the April book um, in this same guy um, because I think it just goes well with the coloration and stuff. Um, let's do the create your own serenity. Why not? Let's be serene while we're paying bills, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's put this over here and then I can always notate anything as well. So I just think that's freaking cute, you guys. Just really, really cute. All right, let me zoom you out so you can actually see the whole finished thing. I had you zoomed in a little bit too much here. Are we all in frame? Yes, we're all in frame. Good job, guys. All right, so that is my budget for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do apologize again for the late upload, but um, I will hopefully be back on track with my medication adjustment in May, and I'm really excited about this month, and I have really fun things coming up in the summer for you guys, too, um, especially due to budgeting, so I'm really, really excited excited for you guys to stick around. Speaking of sticking around, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Every Friday, I upload a Financial Friday. Actually, I didn't do that last week because of the illness, but we won't talk about that. Um, but every Friday, I try to upload something financial related. Um, it could be a book review. It could be, um, I, I reviewed the entire class of FPU every single week and did an entire recap of the class. So if you're interested in that, um, you can look back on my channel and there's a ton of content about Financial Peace University from Dave Ramsey. I know I was super curious about it, but it's really about me and my station in life and how the lessons would apply to me. So anyway, I am gonna go. I need to get this edited and uploaded for you guys tonight. So tomorrow on Friday, you will have wonderful content sitting in your subscription feed. So anyway, I'm gonna jet. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.